Because I have a constitutional right Back to off. get in your face with my words. It's my constitutional right. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press, back in the great state of Colorado. Uh, we are coming to you today from Centennial, Colorado, and we are at the United States Post Office Centennial Branch here on Arapaho Road at the corner of Vine Street. And uh, we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me give you a view of the neighborhood here out on busy Arapaho Road. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, April 14th. It is 4.06 in the afternoon and it is 46 degrees and partly cloudy, partly sunny, depending on how you look at those things. How you making out, watching? So, uh, yeah, let's go in, up in the front and take a look, see what's going on. There's actually a path right here. You want to just walk through here? And uh, always like to take a moment to recognize old glory waving in the breeze as she should. P-O-W-M-I-A, not forgotten, never forget. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what signage we have on the doors here, I guess. So outside, really not much. Uh, you have your standard armed robbery of a postal employee or a postal facility, carries a prison sentence of up to 25 years upon conviction. And uh, that's about it. Nothing about face coverings, nothing about uh, personal protection devices. Uh, a couple of the usual signs missing, but uh, that's what you got here today. Wait, wait, let's start all over again. Hi, how are you? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I'm standing here taking video? Why? You don't have authorization for to videotape my daughter and I. Well, you and your daughter weren't in my video until you stopped and started talking to me. Well, you should stop doing that. Well, you should stop walking up to cameras and saying you don't want to be in the camera. That's bad logic. Welcome back to Colorado, folks. I'm filming the post office. You don't have authorization to film me, so... Sure I do. Delete it. I do. Yes, I do. And it will not be deleted. No, it won't be deleted. You don't have authorization to drive within 100 feet of me, so don't start your car. Ridiculous. Yeah, she must have heard the other lady saying that. She had authorization. Yeah, they're talking to each other now. I don't know why people don't just carry on. And what gets me is, I mean, I'm not being ridiculous. If somebody has a question, somebody has a concern, somebody wants to know why you're filming, so you politely ask. You know, the instant anger before the conversation ever starts. I don't, I don't know what that is. Certainly not coming for me. I'm sorry? Why are you filming us? Uh, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Why are you filming? What are you filming? 
up the front of the post office. Why do you do that? Why do I do that? Uh -huh. I'm working on a story about the post office. I wouldn't make your daughter scared, though. That's not a good idea. There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, it's kind of weird. It's like both of you are... Well, weird is weird. You know, I, I think a lot of things are weird, but they're okay. God, if everybody had to stop doing what I thought was weird. <laughs> wow. And then the other problem is, is people will go inside and say something to the clerks and the clerks will just exacerbate the situation and be like, oh yeah, they shouldn't be doing that. I don't know why they're out there. But what they should do is, and I think they have an obligation to tell them, no, they're perfectly within their rights and they're allowed to be doing what they're doing. It's not a big deal. And if they said that, you know, people love to follow directions. So uh, I'm sure that would uh, probably take care of the problem for 75% of the people that ask. But instead, they choose to squirt gasoline on the flames and blame us. Colorado's become a very interesting place, folks. Which actually is a good point. We could just stay here and not even travel the country and make videos for the rest of our lives, but uh, that's not the point. We're trying to get our message out to as many people as we possibly can in as many different locations as possible. And... Uh, We've been in 31 states in the past 18 months and uh, actually just turned 34,000 miles. I was a little light on my estimate previously, so about to hit 35,000 miles of road tripping. You, you see, I don't want to be rude with you. I mean, I, I return what I'm given, but you say that like somebody owes you an explanation. Oh, yeah, they do. They do? Yeah. You must I mean, you have me confused with somebody here. else. I don't owe you any explanation. Really if somebody approaches me with respect and courtesy, I give the same back. So if you want to start all over again and be in a good mood and ask me what I'm doing, I'm I might explain it to you. Mood. Huh? I'm in a great mood. You're in a great mood? Yeah. Good. Yeah, well. Go outside, go inside, do your transaction when you come out. Maybe uh, we can have the conversation you want to have. I don't know if I want a conversation. I'm just curious. Oh, so everything everything on your terms. I'm, yeah, start, I'm starting to get to know you real well. You are really a freak. I'm a freak? Yeah, you're a freak. Really? Yeah. Okay. You're a freak. I, appreci I appreciate and value your opinion. That's good. I came up to ask you a very intelligent question. Not really. Not really. You said, what are you doing and why? What are you, a cop? What if I was? Well, then you should put your badge on, identify yourself as a police officer, and then maybe we could have that conversation. I have an answer for everything. I'm not an easy person to talk to. No. My wife will tell you. I got it. You're a freak. Well. Yeah, you're a freak. Okay. If I was an idiot, I'd return that right back at you, but I'll stick with freak. That's fine. Coming from the guy with the uh, stand up for your country bumper sticker on his car. That's it. I'd love to know what he means by that. Stand up for your country in what way? That's a good one. He, he actually openly admitted that he thinks that he's entitled to an answer. He did, most, yeah. Most people just uh, um, act that way. But he, he actually said Yeah, it. he's got no, no problem with it. Yeah, I guess, evidently. It's a freak to get out. I, I'm still, hey, I'm, st I'm still willing to start all over with you again, if you're will. All right, well, you should start doing what your bumper sticker says on your car there. Start living up to it instead of just virtue signaling to your friends. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know you don't. That's ignorance at its best. Yeah. 
You have a sign on the back of your car that says "Stand up for your country." Yeah. What What have you done to do that? What have you done to do that today? You have no idea what I do. You have no idea what I do. So now you're starting to talk. Well, there you go. Celebrate your ignorance. Have a great day. That's uh, BWA W28, Colorado plate. X Terra Pro VX. Sure. Yeah, there you go. You're the kind of guy that assumes things at your age and knows better. Man. Could be. Last one standing wins the race. And I even said to him, I, I, when he came back out, the, after he came out, I'd be willing to start all over, have the conversation with you. Not interested, he just wants to know what he knows. So, it's probably been like that for a very long time. There you go, attaboy. Yeah, yeah I want to see you guys, smile. I'd still love to have the conversation smile. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a freak right there. There's you're a freak. A good guy. You're a freak. You're gonna show that to all eight of your Facebook friends? I don't even get on Facebook. Oh, you don't have any friends? Well, I have a lot of friends. Do you? you probably maybe one of them will enlighten you one day. What's that? I said maybe one of them will enlighten you one day. I keep offering to have an intelligent adult conversation with you. You're not interested. So, you could have found out exactly what I was doing here today. But go home and celebrate your ignorance. Good luck to your kids and your wife. What's your camera for? Sorry? What is it for? I'm working on a story about the post office. We're just getting some B-roll footage. Have a wonderful day, ma'am. Thank you. And that really is, it's not even funny. Like the real seriousness of that is, um, I think that's a sentiment or a uh, way of thinking held by many people in this country right now. And uh, it's very non-productive and uh, actually very destructive to be that way at all in life, as far as I'm concerned. You just want to walk around with a horse, with like a horse with uh, side blinders on, not be interested in learning anything, thinking you know it all, thinking you know exactly what's going on. That's a dangerous thing to, uh, dangerous place to come from. You know, if you think you know everything, then something unexpected happens, then what do you do? I think it's scary that people operate like that. Scary for them, not for me. Definitely not a place I'd want to be. I like asking questions and listening to the answers and uh, trying to grow, you know? And I would say there's a pretty good chance that one of these people has already called the police. But then they see the problem is, if he did call the police, I almost wish he, I do wish he would have stuck around so he could have seen how that went yeah. and actually found out what the reality of the situation is instead of just lighting a fire and running away. But we'll be here to put it out for him. Hello, how are you? All right, prediction. She was fine. By all appearances, had no issue with what we were doing. She's gonna go inside and overhear some kind of sensationalized, over -drum -drum dramatized, whatever that word is, yeah. dramatic conversation, get fired up and come back out in a bad mood yelling at us. Yeah, well, she's gonna find out that we're not with the post office, which somehow makes it okay. Right. <laughs> And at 22, because people don't realize the hypocrisy of what they do. Because he's calling me a freak for standing outside of the post office taking video, and then he whips his camera out and takes video. Yeah. So, depending on what the purpose is, makes it okay or not. Yeah. When he doesn't even know our purpose, so how could he make that call? Right? Yeah. One of the worst things you could be in this world is willfully ignorant. How does this look nefarious? Nefarious? Yes. No, anything but. The nefarious guy's got a secret camera you'll never see. What is that? Sorry? What is, what is this, this about? about? 
I'm just doing a little story on the post office and we're getting some B-roll of some customers coming in and out. Well, to a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And if I can give you a little old man advice to you folks watching, stop assuming things and uh, either mind your business or ask the questions and listen to the answers. Don't think you know what's going on all the time. That's a dangerous place to operate from. It's really not a good idea. Makes you wonder how many opportunities in life people like that blow right past and don't even see. And how many pitfalls in life they fell right into and didn't see because they think they know everything and they're not asking the questions and the receptors aren't on. I don't live my life that way. I did for a while. You know, I, was, I wasn't born the genius I am today, <laughs> but uh, definitely spent plenty of years trying to figure it out, and I'm still trying to figure it out. But, uh, you know, I'm getting a little older, and there's definitely some uh, wisdom and benefits that come with, with age, for sure. So now this is where they're in there. The two uh, Mandarins are in there crying about what's going on. Yeah. And then the lady that went in being nice will overhear that, and that's how that goes. Have a good day. Out of curiosity, why are you guys filming? If you're curious, I'd be happy to tell you. Sure. But I don't, I don't want to yell across the parking lot, so if you don't mind, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Sure, yeah. Um, and we don't like to. No, no, absolutely. While I'm doing what I do, I generally don't explain myself, but I always return respect with respect, absolutely. and you've been very absolutely. respectful. Uh, so this is my son. Yeah. Right. And uh, we've been traveling the country for 18 months defending our Constitution. And the way we do that is, I'm going to make it real quick because I don't oh, want to absolutely. give you a whole long story. Um, but I have a long history in working for uh, media outlets. And I was a photographer for the New York Times years ago. Gotcha. Uh, so we were looking for a way to kind of support our Constitution, which is taking a beating right now. Yes. And chose video as a venue. So what this is, is an exercise of rights. It's an exercise of our First Amendment right to be gotcha. out in public taking You're video. That's all it is. Good. And people get very fired up. No, and I think, I think it's... human behavior is fascinating, no, but you've just proven absolutely. my point. If your ears Absolutely. are open and your eyes are open and your mouth works, you ask the questions, you have right. a cordial conversation. Exactly. Right. And now you go home with now no I worries. And that's it. And I hope you support yeah. what we do. I certainly because do. we're out here for your rights, everybody's I rights. It has nothing to do with politics, no. nothing to do with defunding no, anybody or anything. We're, we're losing our rights right and left. And rights are like muscles. If you don't exercise them, they go away. Yep. Thank you. Have a great day, man. Appreciate you. So there's the other way that can go. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. There's something going on that we don't know about? Oh, I'm sure there's plenty going on that we don't know about, but not here. No. Just what you see. Video taking? Yes. I, you can't say that. I say that all the time. And it, the kids always correct me. It's recording these days. Can't say videotape anymore. I say that my husband had a business for 20-something years. Oh, he's a videographer? Good for him. Well, good. I hope, is he still out there taking video? Well, maybe suggest it to him. He might come home in a better mood if he has a hobby. <laughs> well, you have a good day, dear. Thank you. And I'm not going to stop saying ma'am, and I'm not going to stop saying dear. I don't know. I grew up in a uh, very respectful climate. And my grandmother was a big part of my life. And those of you who follow us know I have a uh, soft spot for older folks. Can't give them a hard time. They earned it. They earned a free pass. Just give them a break. Help them out if you can. It's not easy to get old. Stop it. Sorry? I said stop it. Stop what? 
Why don't you ask me what I'm... people without their permission, without knowledge of what the fuck you're doing. Why don't you ask me and I'd tell you I'd have well, a... I did ask when I was coming in. What are you guys doing? We're filming people. Well, you're... That was a good answer. Listen, if you want to have a cordial I'm conversation, happy I'm happy to do it. All right, so you want to start all over again and I'll be cordial? I just did. Okay, so my name is Jason. And my name is Severio. Nice to meet you, Severio. It's a very cool name. I had a friend named Severio when I was a kid. So... I'm not going to ask you what you think we're doing because I already know what you think we're doing. I don't have no idea. We are not. What I'm doing right now has nothing, zero to do with politics. Okay. What I'm doing is, this is my son, and we've spent the last 18 months. We've driven 34,000 miles across the country in defense of our constitution. That's what we do. Okay. We're not about to fund the police. We're not right-wing Trumpers. What I'm not, I have zero to do with politics. I could care less about. I think politics is a distraction that keeps me and you from having a nice conversation. That's what I think that is. So we're just, what we do is, I've had a long history in photography for the past 30, 35 years. I went, to, I graduated with a degree in photography, worked for the New York Times for years. Okay. So we've chosen photographs and video as our venue to go out and exercise our right to take video and photographs in public. That's all it is, is an exercise of rights. So that's all we're doing. In our small way, we're trying to defend the constitution. We're trying to have open dialogue and communication with people. I always like to say that there is middle ground, at least there used to be, and I don't have to approve of everything you do. You don't have to approve everything I do, but we can certainly respect each other's right to do it. Okay. Shake hands and walk away men and think better men and think about the conversations we have with people, how we treat people, how we get the information we're looking to get, who we're getting it from. And it's just about open dialogue and communication. I'm trying to, one day I'm gonna have to leave this world and leave my son in it. And I'm trying to leave it a better place for him. Okay. So that's what we're doing. That's a great prelude. Now, what are you doing? Did you not hear what I said? I heard you said you have a right to film stuff. So I just, I just. What are you doing it for? I just, I just said to you, this is an exercise of rights. Yeah. Right? So we are exercising our first okay. amendment right to okay. take video and photographs in public. And for what purpose? You, you, you haven't told the purpose. I'm missing something. I have told you the purpose. I think you're not listening. Okay. Do you value your freedom in this country? Do you value our constitution? Fuck yeah. Politics aside, I don't even care what you believe I, about you that. Know, quit bringing that up. What are you doing here filming? What for? What's the purpose of it? Because you can? Is that it? Is that your whole purpose? I think you got a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> I just, I just I literally... Think, I think you need to come up with a better explanation of what you're doing. So you want me to lie to you? No, I think you want to tell me the truth. That is exactly the truth of what I'm doing. You still haven't explained yourself. I told you specifically, I'll say it one more time for Go you, because I'm, prob I'm probably I'm probably slower than you are. I'll put it in small words. I am exercising my First Amendment right yeah. to take video and photographs in public. Yeah. And I've chosen that as my venue to defend our Constitution okay. because I have a history in that as a career. So in other words, you're just filming for nothing. That's if you think our Constitution's nothing, then uh, I, yeah, I guess so. I can tell you, the modality you're using is failing 100%. What have, what have you... Is not people because you've not given no, I'm, all I'm doing is have, what, doing. what what have you done to support your country today? Today, not 30 years ago, today. Just today? Today. What have you done to support your country today? What have you done to defend your constitution today? Let me see. Um, yeah, think about it and get back to me. You get in your face. If you get in my face, you're going to have a problem. No, I'm going to get in your face. And I'm going to spray you in the face with some mace. So back I'll up. I'll tell you what. Back I would up. hope you would do that. Back up. I would hope you would do that. Back up. Because I have a constitutional right back to up. get in your face with my words. You're spitting on my face. I'm no, I'm not. I got a mask on, motherfucker. Just, I'm about to soak you down, dude. Yo, go ahead. And you will lose your right of freedom. Get out of my face. No, I don't have to. It's my constitutional right, motherfucker. Get, see how this works? Do you see how this works? Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's not my right. What I'm doing is trying to be a better person than you, okay? Not I work, I it's not just, working. I could have easily just sprayed you down, man. And, and I would have taken you down so hard. No, you wouldn't have. In, in defense. Yes, I would have. No, you wouldn't have. Yes, I would have. I would have crammed this key up your nose and you it would have been over. get that shit out of my face, dude. And it would have been over. Get it out of my face. And you know what? Get it out I of my face. I would have been face. right. Back out of my face. I'm I don't have to move. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Go, go ahead. Show me. Show me why I have to move. Do you think you're smart? Are you really that upset with getting old and being powerless? I'm not old and I'm not some... powerless, sure motherfucker. You sure you are. 
try me. I'm trying you. So I'm going to record all the information on your vehicle now. So you got 412 UUJ, Colorado. <laughs> Get in my face again you and see what I. For nothing. You've been properly warned. You Get in my face for again. Nothing. Yeah, that's what I stand for. You stand for nothing. Get your VIN number so we can he find out. He is Severio Spagnoli, 552041104. Got it? Say it again. You got a phone number? No, I just gave it to you. 810-4101. What's your home address? I'm not giving you that. Why not? Tough guy. Because I don't want to shoot you because you came on my property. Oh, yeah? Is that, you're that stupid. Is that what'll happen? Yeah, if you came on my property, yeah. Yeah, very good. Well, you're lucky <laughs> You're lucky. I'm a better man than you are, Severio. You are Severia. not better. Sure, you're I am. Idiot. Far better. You're, you're You'll standing never... for nothing. No, not you're the case. You're standing for nothing. What are you standing for? What have I you stand, done to stand, stand for anything? <laughs> I Crap. stand for my personal rights. No, you don't stand for anything. And all you do is stand around filming people, trying to get a reaction. You got no, one? No, I'm not trying to get a reaction. You're trying to have a heart attack, and you're going to give what? yourself one. And you're lucky I'm a better man Move than you are, punch. Severio. Keep going. Pleasure. Oh, fuck yourself. Keep going. I don't have to. See, it's my right. Do you drink a lot? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, you, do I you? think you do. Uh, guess what? Up until a year ago, I haven't had a drink in 27 years. You go ahead and factor that out, and then we'll figure it out, okay? Up until a year ago, so you, yeah. you can't take the world until you started drinking again. <laughs> you're, you're a COVID drunk. There you go. So now let me ask you, would you have sprayed him? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. See, I'm a better person than that. I don't want to do that. You would have sprayed him. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. No. You're probably right, but you know. Why do I feel bad about doing that? I, don't. I really do. I just feel I don't want to do it. Scream at you, get my car here. No, nobody needs to be screaming at anybody. I don't know what's wrong with people. Oh man, it's insanity. See, but yeah, what happens is, is he asked me what I was doing, and I chose to be cordial and explain myself to him, and that's the trouble I get myself into. So, which is why I'm probably better off just standing here not saying anything. You know, some people don't want answers; they want to fight. And uh, like I told him, he's lucky I'm a better man than he is. Yeah, we need more civility. I agree with you 100%. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, I think civility, there's a, there's one step missing before the civility these days, and I think people just need to start having communication again. Communication's a dying art. And sometimes if you talk about things, you can understand what's going on. And But, you know, like I said, there's just people that want to be angry. And uh, there's nothing you or I will ever do to stop that. Uh, there's some saying about how it's a... It's a toxic thing that erodes the vessel that holds it. Absolutely correct. Yeah. It's corrosive. So. It really is. Well, you know what? I always, this is my son. I always tell my son, uh. in uh, any relationship in life or any situation in life, you're either helping it or you're destroying it. Yeah. So it's always better to err on the helping side until you have no other choice, right? All right. Well, have a good well, I, I appreciate you, and I appreciate your attitude. Okay. And spread that around. We need more of that. Right. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. So you would have sprayed him, huh? 100%. That was way too close. That was way too close. Well, I set the uh, barrier in my mind if he had touched me. If he had touched me, then yeah. But I don't know. I don't want to spray some old man. I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> call me an idiot, and you guys can call me a fool. Seriously, you could call me a fool and say I should have, but... Uh, you know, I don't know what he's going home to. I don't know what his situation is. He just said he started drinking again a year ago. I don't know what's going on in the guy's life. Um, I'm a big boy, and if he wants to get in my face and yell at me and scream, I can handle that, you know, whatever. Um, didn't even heat me up or cool me down. But, um, you know, putting hands on somebody is a different story, and that's where I draw the line. But Watchman's probably right. I, you know, uh, probably with totally within my rights. But uh, I don't know. Just uh, got to do what makes you what makes you comfortable, I guess.
I don't know, what do you think? Take a walk around the back? Yeah, I think so. How's it going? Okay, you want it? And again, I mean, it gets old hearing it, it gets old saying it, but I return respect with respect and asshole with bigger asshole. And uh, I'm not the guy to start it. I even, I always used to tell Watchman when he was a kid coming up, he never really had a lot of problems because he was always uh, one of the biggest kids in the class. But uh, my words to him when he was in grade school, when he was a real little kid, I always used to say to him, never start the fight, but always finish it. And I think that's good advice, you know? No reason to go out and start a problem, no reason to go out and start a fight with people, but at the same time, there's no reason for you to have to take a verbal or physical ass whooping. Um, and I wouldn't put up with that, so, yeah. I think that's good advice. Don't ever start the fight, but always finish it. Should uh, get in there soon if you're gonna get your stamp, because it's uh, five o'clock, they close at 5.30. They close at 5.30? Yeah. Gotcha. Couple of them, yeah. So we have uh, Arapahoe County Sheriff's going by. We've had dealings with them before. So here is the uh, loading dock area, employee parking, and uh, postal vehicle parking area. And let's make our way back up to the front. After you, Mr. Watchman, sir. Oh, automatic doors. Automatic doors, nice. So you have your post office boxes. And I want to see where poster seven is. Should be hanging in here somewhere. Here we go, poster seven. 2007 copy. So, rules are posted. Let's see if they honor them. So keep these two for the okay. rest of us. Yep, this is the four of Mali, okay? It's what I didn't tell you mounting. So show okay, that yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Do you need stamps and you? Uh, I know. I think we have. Yep. Okay. Forty-five. Yeah, Mother's Day. Don't forget about Mother's Day. Good reminder. No problem at all, thank you. Okay. That was very quick, actually. Can I just have one stamp, please? Thank you, May. Is it May? Thank May. Thank you. Any kind. Yes. How fast you need it? And I'll take the receipt with that too, please. Thank you. For twenty-six thirty-five. Thank you. Anything else I can help No, that'll do it for today. Three-day one. Just the three-day one. Need a bit more. For twenty. Ninety-five cent is for that. Okay, okay, that's fine. How many tracking number do you want? Signature? Change insurance? here. Thank you. Yep. What kind of receipt? Like a paper uh, receipt? Or you paper receipt, receipt, yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Just a regular basic. I don't need a signature. You don't need it. Okay. Okay. We have a survey at the bottom. Okay. Great. Thank you for being have courteous nice and professional. I appreciate you, man. Have a good day. Well, all right, guys. Got my stamp, got my receipt, and got my change. 
I was absolutely sure they were going to deny a service. Yeah, I was thinking they were going to have a problem in there too. Hundred percent, because the same guy that came out to talk to us came out and said, "Are they in here?" Um. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know, man. Interesting one here today. Um, I'm without words for uh, <laughs> once. Uh, just fascinating. I mean, he, like I always say, human behavior is fascinating. It's really amazing to see how two different people will handle the same exact situation in two completely different ways. And uh, some good, some not so much. Um, but I just find it interesting. And, uh, you know, obviously very interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Um, so chime in, let us know what you think. Let us know uh, what you think about what you saw here today. And I know a lot of you are gonna say that I should have done something about that guy that was in my face. He didn't touch me. Uh, he was probably two or three inches away from me. And uh, if he had laid a hand on me, I would have uh, taken measures to defend myself appropriately. Uh, but th again, I'm from a different world, guys. I grew up in New York 40, 50 years ago. Um, words are words, and I'm not gonna get physical with somebody, which I include spraying somebody with pepper spray getting physical. I'm not gonna be the first one to go physical. If I had hands put on me, it's a different story. Uh, some of you will agree, some of you will disagree, but again, you know, chime in. Let me know what you think. Um, we do read uh, a lot of the comments. It's hard for me to read all of them. You know, some of our videos get five, ten thousand comments or thumbs ups and thousands of comments on each video. So I try to read as many as I can. I go through them um, and really value your feedback and value what you guys have to say. And uh, we look forward to hearing it. Mrs. AP spends a lot of time going through comments. Um, and I know Watchman goes through a lot of his. So uh, chime in, let us know what your opinions are, what your thoughts are. And, uh, you know, I just uh, think in any situation, if you could be the better person, that's the road you should take. Um, and that's it, so enough said on that. Um, but interesting situation here today. And uh, yeah, so always like to remind you guys, before I forget, if you appreciate our videos, you appreciate what we do when you want to support what we do best way for you to do that hands down is to like share comment subscribe all that stuff gets our videos out to more people so more people can watch them enjoy them and hopefully learn a little something maybe learn what to do and what not to do um, i know the watchman and i are out here getting an education every day um, and uh, you know you never cease to learn opportunities to learn something are always there um, and i suggest you open up your ears open up your eyes take it in and uh, grow, man. Growth is painful um, sometimes. It's not easy. But uh, I think uh, we're all better for it when we give ourselves that opportunity. Um, so that's it. So we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and uh, probably call it a day because it's a little bit after 5 o'clock. It's getting a little cool out again. And uh, maybe grab some dinner and uh, call it a night. But we'll be back out at it again tomorrow and uh hope you'll come along with us and i really mean it don't forget to like share comment subscribe i don't just say that stuff it really helps us out it doesn't cost you any money and it helps our channels grow and it's not just all about views and subscribers but if nobody's watching the videos what good are we doing the more people that watch the more people that have an opportunity to think about what we're doing out here that's my goal so uh that's it so coming to you from centennial colorado at the Centennial Branch of the United States Post Office, this guy, watching a watchman, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.